Hey, Chef Des here. I want to tell you a story from back in 1975. I was a kid. I guess I would have been eight years old. I've always been an Elvis fan. Even, even at a young age like that, I was an Elvis fan, and that's due to my, my brother instilling the, the great love of, of the king in me. So I live in British Columbia, Canada, and we were on a family vacation in California, and uh, <laughs> it was a sight to see, I guess, a family in their, in their uh, station wagon going through the uh, uh, Beverly Hills, following the map of the stars, and I remember being in the car, my dad was at the wheel, my mom was uh, co-pilot, giving him directions and stuff like that, and looking at the map. And we had pulled over to look at the map. This Cadillac went past us, and uh, we see these gates open up. This car goes in, and so we watched all this, and my, my dad says to my mom, Here's the address, 144 Monovale Drive. Who lives there? And so my mom looks at the map and says, well, that's Ellis's house. So the gates didn't close after this car drove in. So my dad thinks, I'm just going to go up the driveway. So the gate stayed open, and he didn't tell us this. He just started driving and drove through the gates. And we're like, panicking, what are you doing? Like, you can't do this. My mom's yelling at him and stuff. And... uh he says, well, if they didn't want us in, they shouldn't have uh, kept the gates open. So the driveway was was winding, and uh, we went up the driveway and up parked right in front of the house. And my mom's like, what now? And he says, well, you and, and uh, your kids get in front of the door there, and I'll take your picture, and then we'll just leave. So we were just getting out of the car, and the somebody from the house came out. It wasn't Elvis, I'll tell you that for sure. Uh, came out and says... Uh, what are you doing here? Elvis is not here. You need to go now. He was very, uh, very stern with us. And uh, so we got in our Huffmobile and uh, started down the driveway. So we didn't get that photo of us standing in front of the door. But we snapped one photo uh, as we were driving down. Now you can just barely see it because this is in the lower part of the driveway. But you see the house there. You see a car there. That's, that's not the Cadillac that went past us. Um, and you know what? Hey, I was a kid. Maybe, maybe that was the same car, but I think that's a, like a Buick Wildcat or something. According to my friend, Dave, he thinks that's what that is. But anyway, that was the house in 1975. You could barely see it, but that's from the, like I say, the lower level of the driveway. And Elvis owned it at that time still. Um, he didn't sell it until June uh, 1975, I believe it was, to uh, Telly Savalas. Uh, then at some point, the house was sold to Paula Kent Mihan of the, uh, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, of the Redkin uh, Hair Company. She was uh, co-owners of that, or started that as co-owners, and then she bought the whole company, and then she sold it to L'Oreal years later, and she was a millionaires and... Uh, uh, she unfortunately died in that house uh, quite a few number of years ago. I uh, can't remember off the top of my head when that was. Um, but that house at 144 Monovale Drive was, was built by Robert Montgomery, the actor, uh, who was father of Elizabeth Montgomery from the Bewitched television series. And uh, Elizabeth actually went to um, Westlake School for Girls, which is about a three-minute drive from that house. So I'm, I'm assuming she lived there at the time when, uh, when she was going to school there. Anyway, cool story. Uh, I'd love to see that house in person, uh, inside, and actually go through the front door. That would be really cool. I'm a big Elvis fan, and like I said, and always have been, and, and uh, anything to do with the king is, is pretty cool. It's something different. I've been to Graceland twice over the past few years which is fantastic first times ever going there um but again that's uh that's my story of the uh elvis presley house at 144 monoville drive pretty cool something i'll never forget thanks for watching